the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I am going to play Anime Dimensions. And as you can see, I am using Rimuru Tempest. This is one of the best characters so far in-game in this update. And you need 1,600 gems to unlock it. So Gamer Nom used Robux. No guys, I was able to unlock it for free. I'm gonna show it to you later how I did it. So I'm gonna finish Nightmare Hardcore Modes all of Dimensions from Titans to Demon Slayer Dimensions with the minimum level required okay but first i'm gonna show you the skills first up you just saw that the black lightning so you need to cast it in front of your enemy okay next up the gluttony guys uh, the, uh this if you're gonna use this skill make sure that you create distance because the enemies can attack you whenever you're casting this and you cannot burst them they can attack you next up there you go this is skill the third skill uh, same as the black lightning, you can cast it and move around. So I suggest that you use this more compared to gluttony. So for the ultimate, uh, they call it God's Wrath. So this is kind of strong and the range is so big and you will be invulnerable. Okay, as you can see, if the enemy is going to attack you, there's a red thing. There you go. So make sure to dodge those things. So this is the first boss in Titan Dimension, the Plated Titan. So it only has two attacks, so it's kind of easy to defeat. I know you can do it. There you go. Just make sure to dodge the dash and the rack, uh, the ground smash. Okay. There you go. So aside from that, I noticed in the two dimension that there are two types of enemies. In in the titans, just notice the hair of these titans, titan mobs. There you go. For the brown hair, there those are the long range enemies, and for the sh uh, black, long hair, melee type. Okay. This big dude is a melee type too. So knowing those kind of things will really help you finish the quest easier even if it's nightmare hardcore okay so this boss has two or three skills rotation so make sure to check that out so don't worry guys uh during the hardcore nightmare modes i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna show it to the complete uh ground okay there you go we're level three so i think we need to reach like level 11 again to start doing that quests so we're just gonna level up there you go so guys uh have you been playing this game what level are you in some thoughts hmm i think so far in this game higher levels doesn't have any advantage or what so doesn't mean that if you have a high level in the game you're strong no guys i can beat level 50 60 players even though i am just level 26 that's why i finished the nightmare uh what do you call this nightmare hardcore mode with minimum level required again we're gonna finish the last stage mode hardest mode in the game with the minimum level required okay so there you go as you can see our character is still new we're still unlocking characters from the starter pack there you go level nine two more levels and we're going for the uh, hardcore nightmare mode no, I don't guys i want you to notice the hp and the damage of my character there you go check that out to 202 hp right so now we're gonna try it nightmare hardcore from 200 hp let me show you the hp now oh, we're still loading so the moment that it started it already have 281 hp I'm gonna tell you how I did it and as you can see I'm still uh, almost bursting the mobs here I go it's kind of easy it has something to do with the cards right and also the character that I'm using guys if you use Luffy here I don't know if you can even finish this it's kind of hard <laughs> to be honest but I haven't tried it because as you can see now the skill of the enemy has changed a while ago it's just linear right now it has three uh it's diagonal and forward damage now you can always use your god's wrath to like dodge skills because again while casting that skill you are invulnerable you can see here we're defeating it okay there you go regarding the god's wrath 
I prefer not using it in boss fights. Sometimes for emergency just to dodge the skills. But guys, if you want to use it, make sure that the enemy just uses its skill. Because sometimes you're done with the God's Wrath. But the enemy is still attacking you. So you will surely get damage. Okay? Take note of that. So here we go. Monstrous Titan. Hardcore Nightmare Mode. Again, the range of its stacks. Oh no, there's uh, increase in variation, right? For the first kind of boss, uh, it has three types of attacks here. Uh, four or five, right? So more variations, harder to dodge, but again guys, it's very easy that guys can can like damage you 200 damage, something like that. No, 100 plus. Okay, so we are done with this boss. Okay, now time to level up until we reach level 16 so we can go in the next dimension the demon dimension so again don't forget to note the types of mobs there the short range the long range type of mobs there go so first we're gonna do easy hard and nightmare hardcore so again the level requirement for the nightmare hardcore in this stage is 26 so when we reach level 26, we are going to defeat it ASAP, as soon as possible. There you go, level 18, level 19, level 20, 21. Okay, we can start the hard quest now. Guys, it's kind of harder to level up when you reach this, so we need to finish like, uh, for every hard not hard, no, hard, hardcore, one level up. As you can see here, I will 24, 25, and 26. Okay, there you go. So by level 26, I prepared for this fight. As, as you can see, the HP compared to 200 plus, we now reached. Level 26. Check the HP, guys. 950. Gamer Nob, you're just level 26. How are you able to reach that? Did you use Robux? No, guys. Okay, so if you get like many views from this video, I will show you all the techniques, the secrets, and how to finish it fast. Oh, and for the time trial, guys, always do that. No worry, I'm gonna make a guide on that. There you go. So we are finishing it. So as you can see, I'm just bursting enemies. Game Renome House the game. It's kind of cool, but they need to update it. Because it's kind of easy for me. There you go. We are at MMU boss. E-M-M-U boss. Okay. So guys, were you able to finish solo, finish this raid, dungeon, at the minimum level required? Or did you did you ask for help, etc? Don't worry guys, it's fine as long as you enjoy the game. Okay, now we've reached level 27. Now, time to defeat Yakaza. There you go. I'm gonna try other uh, characters and finishing this. So if you have a request, just comment it on the comment section. There you go, guys. This video is almost done. What can you say, guys? Are you excited for the upcoming update? For me, yes. They're gonna update it for sure. More uh, stages, more dimensions. And maybe they're gonna add even PvP. Before I end this, how was I able to unlock? Guys, just do the, what do you call this? The free gems. So I AFK'd for like 10 hours, 20, 12, 15, something like that. And you can use the codes. So now if you're gonna use the codes, I think they will be giving you like 500 to 600 gems. There you go. Okay. There you go. As you can see, level one is not enough yet, but I did the AFK. And the good thing with this is you don't need to use auto clicker, right? So for the codes, we have a like a built-in board in the game. You can just use it. 
There you go. Okay, guys, so that would be it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.